Hey guys, Dragon Games here, and today we are going to be going over the actor development of the new trailer of Unturned 4.0. Let's do this. So we're going to start by reading out everything. So if you haven't seen my free previous videos, what I do is I read through most of the things that the, uh, the description, and then I talk about what might come to that. Uh, just some basic stuff, but let's do this. Alright, so, so the description of game access. Giving everyone Steam keys is not scalable, but I can't add it to everyone's libraries yet because it would be confusing for the out-of-loop players. My plan is to ask Valve for permissions to release an override API grant package for number two. For two. <coughs> and then I can set up an automatic grant process through three to gradually phase, uh, phase in interested players like you. And he talks about how it's been approved. I talked about it in one of my previous dev, dev vlogs. If you'd like to check it out. I'm also going to put the trailer down in the description. If you guys want to read everything for yourself. Alright, now Corpse Interaction. He says that this is going to come in dev blog 24. Which I will be reviewing over. Alright, so the, the description of this. Held off, held off on this because I, because I changed plans from 3's design to have specialized game dashboards for things like this. Plan to separate specialized screen for transferring loot one uh, ratio one one between your inventory and the dead body inventory. This way that the other elements of the normal inventory do not clutter up. We need some uh, some sort of to like totem at the point at the death point in case the ragdoll gets stuck in the wall or falls through the world. Uh, so there it's like something similar in rust like if any of you played rust before when you kill somebody their like dead body just like drops down you can loot it so that's what they're planning to integrate in unturned 4.0 excellent revised outfits he's going to talk about that for 20 uh 24 again which i will definitely go through when it comes out miscellaneous fixes for outfits and update some of the meshes that were designed for older character skeletons uh, more so focused on actually having some clothes available again than the larger amount of content as part of this adjust how the owners can manage stored items relevant for items visible in holsters so and also it's going to be added in a new piece of clothing possibly like a holster so you can actually see like which type of guns in there like a pistol revolver or I don't know a news you could fit in there maybe I don't know uh, optimization pass it's probably it's what I imagine he means by this is uh just gonna do some more game optimization he already did a night a brief description about how he was gonna re-optimize the game so that even low really low end computers can actually play the game at 60 frames when put on low settings now the last one inventory inventory usability helper destination for changing items drag and drop into slot to auto swap them detach button tidy up multi attach drop down and also going to talk about on turn 4 so this is exciting that he's going to do most of this stuff in Unturned 4. I cannot wait to talk about it with you guys. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads this past week. I just wasn't. I just. I don't know. I just couldn't exactly think of any ideas, but so far I have been generating some ideas. If you check in the pre. Uh, the most recent video, I give out comments saying that I'm just quickly brainstorming about more things you can put on the channel. I might be experimenting with like the new c with a cinematic mode and unturned making some like those beauties, maybe some spicy memes as you guys know. And of course, more of this type of stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will most likely upload again tomorrow about the third party integrations. So, uh, thank you for uh, recomm uh, recommending that I talk about that. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and bye!